What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, just want to show you a couple new parts I got for the E46. These are the Part Shop Max uh, rear, upper, and lower control arms. You see the, upper, the lower one, this guy's the upper one. And lo the lower one's straight. The upper one has a little curve into it. Let me bring you guys in a little closer. I also want to show you how I set them up before I throw them onto the car. So let's get a little closer so you can see some of the parts here. A little bright here. Let me see if I can turn it down. Okay. I think that's a little better. Alright. This is so this is gonna be the rear one. Let me show you this guys. This goes towards the bottom of the car. The little structure rigidity part of it. And then here's the where you actually adjust the actual arm, the length of this guy. And then it has double lock nut, so we have one with an allen and then also the one on the arm with an allen and a oh no, it's just a nut and bolt on these guys. And for the other side, it does have like a replaceable these are, I believe they said they were PTFE lining, like um, like a heim joint kind of style. So there's, that's the rear, so it has a setting screw so it doesn't come out, and it also has like an actual set screw where you can replace these parts. So that's a good part. You could actually replace these guys. And let's see what else can I show you about. Oh, they're actually zinc plated. The metal parts though they're all zinc plated and if you guys really want to know the thickness of these guys let me show you let me take out my caliper here let me turn it on zero it out i'll say it on in millimeters so the thickness of these actual control arms is about 38 millimeters thick on the actual arm 38 millimeters and then for this guy the actual mounting, the one that goes to the these parts here. Let me do a little let's measure these. These ones are about five millimeters thick on those on these sections. All right, let's go up a little here. Let me show you. So, so they're pretty much constructed the same, just the shape is different. Oh yeah, and let me show you. So here what they did, it looks like they welded a piece. So it's not one full piece, it looks like it's like a two piece. So it goes, it's welded here, goes down all the way down up here, and then it's welded with another section here. Um, I'm not sure how what I think about that. Hopefully it's not too weak in this area, but there's only one way to find out. And they are painted like a goldish color also kind of sparkly so it's like their their trademark color and let me show you how I set these up to install them on the car this guy's a locking nut and the other bottom one is a locking nut and the middle one that's the one that you use to adjust the length so don't spin this this guy you don't want to spin this guy to extend your arm don't do that it all back so what you want to do is spin the middle one so hold this hold hold the arms still and then you spin this one you can see it's extending already so it's just the middle one that you're moving the one that has a lock nut over here that Allen one. So as you ex turn this, it will come out here and it will like, extend this actual mount side. So as you can see, look, it's coming out, it's extending. So I turn this guy, actually shortening down. So these two nuts are just locking nuts. Don't worry about those. Put them all the way back, get them out of the way. So now, I extended it. Now let's match it up to the stock arm. If 
extended it enough. And it doesn't look like it. So let's extend it some more. Remember, just that middle on that. Then twist, twist, twist. Give it another try, a little bit more. Twist, twist. Let's see here. Use that other look. bolt and still a little shy. Turn it one more time. Maybe one more turn here. There you go. You got it. You see? Now your lower control arm meets the same length as your new lower control arm. The old with the new. Obviously you're gonna make some changes in the future, but this is just a base start to where you you want it you see you use it match it up there put it through this hole like I did there if you want to get longer bolts so you could longer ones of these but these are the only ones I have so that'll work and that's it that's all you do so after you're done setting that up pull the old arm off then you have these these guys, you set this one, it's nut and bolt. That'll lock the inner like threaded sleeve that goes into the arm. And then you lock this guy, that would lock the actual mounting part that goes to the arm. And that's all you gotta do. Just repeat that with your lower control, with your upper control, I'm sorry. And don't forget to put the anti-seize in there. You don't want this thing to freeze up later when you wanna do an adjustment on it and you can't take it off so yeah make sure you put some anti seat that'll help you in the future so yeah that's about it that's how you just uh baseline to start to adjust to put these on and that's about it and the more you got and yeah that's it any questions comments uh, put it down in the comment sections uh if you have any questions about these arms uh, any sort of questions, I got them here. I could check them out, answer your questions, and should be good. So, yeah, like, subscribe. That's it for now.